Hi everyone, this is Tony Ayhan Agman. If the EB5 project is successful, when do I get $500,000 investment back, which are low risk regional centers? So this person is saying that, that he's looking into EB5, uh, you know, visa options, green card options, and would like to know uh, what are the, you know, the lower risk regional centers. And he says, if the project is not doing well, do I also lose my green card? Uh, it says if the project succeeds, you know, how much and when do I get my investment back? So this type of questions this person is having. This is, I mean, this is what I could tell you. Uh, basically, you're, you know, the investment you're be- making into the projects, it's really going to be ranching, you know, from projects to projects, whether, how much risk you have or you don't. Uh, but what we usually suggest is for you to do is make sure that you do your financial homework well. And then when you are uh, getting in touch with these regional centers, make sure you're getting all the financials from them. And also have someone, maybe your financial advisor, look into these documents, make sure that how much risk you're getting into. Uh, secondly, if the project is approved, right, if you're doing what, fine with the investment, then you're looking around four to six years down the road to be able to get your money back. As soon as the project succeeds, then you're going to be able to get your investment back. Uh, but of course, uh, there will be risks. If there is a risk of losing your investment, uh, and if you do lose that before you get your permanent green card, then yes, you're going to lose your green card as well. So the investment you're going to make, it should be succeed, is succeeding, and it should be for at least for four to six years. And if the project is doing fine by then, when you're getting your permanent card, then you're going to be fine, and you will have to uh, keep the green card. But if it's not approved, Basically, if, if the project is, you know, you know, if you lose the investment and that happens before you get your permanent green card, then you're not going to be able to actually keep the green card.